Today's video is going to be a little different. I'm in New York City. I moved here. So filming videos recently has been a little bit more difficult than it was when I was in Dallas or even in Jersey because I don't have a car to drive around to client job sites and see them as frequently or as easily as I used to. So more importantly, I just want to talk about being on camera and filming video because, I mean, even right now for myself, walking through the streets, filming this, I'm getting some weird looks and it's definitely uncomfortable. And the point I want to make is you need to get good on camera in order for your business to succeed in the next few years. And I see this as an issue even in my industry where the guys that are running agencies are just absolutely shit on camera. They, they're not engaging, they have terrible tone, and overall, it's just a huge handicap to not be able to convey your thoughts eloquently or smoothly in an engaging manner on camera, and you're shooting yourself in the foot, really. And so, what I wanna tell you as a business owner yourself as well, is the power of being able to convey your projects, what you're doing in a cohesive manner on camera is gonna be majorly, majorly beneficial for you in building your brand and creating something that people resonate with. And until you're able to do that, you need to practice or you need to hire someone that is able to do it. So the easiest thing to do to get good at it is to just do it, frankly. Like, just start filming, talk, you're gonna mess up. You're not gonna be able to one take. You might have a lot of ums or stutters. And when you look back at the content, go ahead and just review it. Make sure that you are actually self-analyzing and critical of what you are saying and how you say it, tonality and cadence, and work on it. Make your speech better. And it takes time. It's not gonna be instant. Again, you can probably hire someone for it, or if you have someone younger, more adept to social media, potentially being on camera, then put them up to the task as well. But if you are on a job site and you want to actually make content that is valuable for homeowners to see, then you're gonna want to explain what you're doing on that job site. And the only way that you're gonna be able to explain it properly is if you can speak properly and convey what you're actually doing on camera. So I think this will be the end of my rant. I'm just trying to get a coffee and a bagel after a, a night out. It's Sunday on, in New York City. So I'll see you in the next one. Real quick, I wanted to add an addendum to this video. A, that was not a very flattering angle of me this entire video, but the point still stands. B, the entire time I was using these first generation AirPod mics and I wanted to bring up the fact that this is a better mic than a lot of the mics that I have purchased and spent money on and these came with my iPhone. So this really goes to show that you have no excuse. Equipment is not a handicap because this entire video was filmed on iPhone and the mic used was AirPods, wired AirPods. So. You have both. If you have an iPhone, I know you have both. So there's no excuse for you not to be filming your projects. The second thing I wanted to add was video editing. If you have a baseline level of skill being able to edit videos, even an iMovie, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, just cut, 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 so that you can create talking head videos just like this. That's also a huge advantage. If you don't know how to edit video, I would highly recommend at least playing around with iMovie to get a baseline level of knowledge to edit videos because it's majorly important. It's a huge pain in the ass if for every single content piece you wanna put out, you have to submit it to an editor, wait for the deliverables back, deliverables back, so on and so forth. It's just such a painful process and it's gonna make you not want to create content. So if you know how to do this, then it's really, really easy. You can knock out content just like that. And so overall, once again, get good at talking on camera. The equipment is not your limiting factor. Learn how to edit to a certain degree because it's going to help you so much in the long run. And I'll talk to you in the next one.